But also I've got a big pile of hard drives to go through. I'm going to use this MDAT2, MDAT2. It's a brilliant bit of software. It takes a bit of setting up in your BIOS. It's an older software. I think it's still maintained, like, but. So, it's a brilliant bit of kit. As usual, it's free and excellent. <laughs> Sport for chores, really, for hard drive tools. Anyway, on this one, you can do all the tests, it'll even repair bad sectors. So, refresh sectors. Powerful, that's the one that I usually use when I want to fix something. Warp device, which is really useful. That can repair things as well. Detect a fixed bad sectors. But it's got a lot of other stuff on it as well. So all this stuff. Device data. So you can check all your information on your device. Gives you everything you need to know and more. Too much information to go through there. You want to have a look. Even your controller. Any smart information? Then you can set your HPA there. Set your maximum address. That could solve some problems, but I don't really know a lot about that yet. Well, this one ain't got a hidden area anyway. It's naught. Then you got the DCO. That one looks like it's uh, locked. So DCA frozen, HPA disabled. And you got security. Looks like all them are locked as well. And you got commands, software reset. Let's try all that. So there's a lot of stuff to go through, and a lot of stuff to learn in it. Well, as you can see, there's a lot to it. It's a powerful tool. Well worth learning. I'm just going through it at the minute, reading all the manuals, and there's a cookbook for it as well that tells you all the tips and tricks on it. Now we'll just have a look at some of these tests. That's probably the most used thing. So just go in there. So you've got to detect bad sectors. That'll just go through and detect it. And it tells you on the right hand side what it does. Detects with verify, read, read, and read and compare so that's the one you use if you want to detect and fix bad sectors and that's the one to use if you want to warp the device so let's just have a look at detect bad uh, detect and fix bad sectors so you've got a few options probably the best to select the top one and there you go that will take hours probably. Estimated time one hour. Which ain't too bad for a 500 gigabyte. So that's it, I ain't gonna film it all but definitely worth downloading and learning this tool is if you're interested in hard drives or you need to repair your hard drive alright so that's coming to the end it's far no bad sectors or blocks so it's 97 percent done all blue so okay well I'll try another disc see if we can find one with Bad sectors to repair. 
took uh, about an hour and 12 minutes for that to run through that. The Hawker Trolley's the one, this one did definitely have bad sectors, but sometimes just, I've zeroed them all, so sometimes just zero in a drive will clear out bad sectors because you obviously right into them and it starts working again or it remaps them. So this would be a 250 gigabyte. So I'll do the same test. Oh, right, see how this one does. Well, I did zero all these yesterday, and like I can say that sometimes remaps the bad sectors or writes to them, and obviously it weren't bad in the first place. It was just bad, badly written to. All right, so this is coming to an end. It's 99 percent. Fat, no bad sectors. Even though there was some the other day, so it looks like zero in does do the trick as well. Where you just write over with zeros over the old hard drive. But now I've got some more hard drives coming, so hopefully they'll have some bad sectors in them. I've also got another software to check out, which is uh, MHDD, I think it's called. Which looks really good. Well, this is brilliant software, worth learning. Which I'm doing at the minute.